hello everyone in this short video i'm going to talk about a phenomenal supplement called rhodiola rosea now what is rhodiola rosea it is an ad Hello everyone, this is Dr. Juwan. In this short video, I'm going to talk about a phenomenal herb that I recommend to a lot of my patients, Rhodiola rosea. This goes under the, the category of an adaptogen. Now, what's an adaptogen? Adaptogens are herbs that help the body deal with stress and fatigue. And oftentimes, I did a previous video, I pair it up with another herb called ashwagandha. So taking those two together do help with a lot of the stress response. Now the mechanism of rhodiola ro, rhodio rosea is phenomenal because it's twofold. Helps slow down the breakdown of serotonin and dopamine. Those are feel good hormones. They help with the mood stabiliz stabilization, our pleasure response, our motivation. At the same time, it increases the availability of our adrenaline response, the epinephrine and norepinephrine, which gives us our drive and energy. So it helps balance, it helps balance those two out. So the benefits are many. I just put together a short list of 10. It improves the physical performance. How does it do that? Because it increases the uptake of oxygen. The more that you, that you increase the uptake of oxygen, it's gonna improve your physical performance. Now, it doesn't matter if you're an athlete or if you're just walk around the block. It's going to help increase the availability of oxygen, so it's good to take. Also, it promotes the release of the neurotransmitters. Now, again, the neurotransmitters, dopamine, serotonin, epinephrine, and norepinephrine, which that will help you increase the cognitive function, memory, and learning. You're actually going to get smarter. Also, excellent herbal medicine for the treatment of depression. Now, again, when you're depressed, you're going to have a decrease in serotonin and dopamine. This helps increase the availability. Powerful antioxidant and immune booster. Again, when you're stressed out, what it does, it fries the brain. It actually taxes the immune system. Antibacterial would inhibit the, act the activity of the bacterial staphylococcus. Also, it reduces blood glucose. Okay, so this is phenomenal for, again, diabetes, pre-diabetes, lowers the insulin response, okay, makes that insulin more readily available for, for the tissues to actually function. Reduces the liver dysfunction. Now again, powerful antioxidant, meaning that our liver is a phenomenal filtrate organ, and we tax that either with food, either with emotions, either with pollutants, or even type of medications, you're, de you're toxifying the liver. This acts as a phenomenal liver detoxicant. Also, natural treatment for anxiety. Also, too, treatment for the treatment of withdrawal of opiate addiction. Now, I deal with about a handful of patients who are going, who are addicts, who are trying to get off opiates. Now, again, opiates meaning Vicodin, Norco, Percocet, Okay, you cannot stop those medications cold turkey. You have to taper them off. And to help with the withdrawal effects, I always monitor them with, again, with rhodia, rhodia, uh, rhodia rosea. Also, too, it's neuroprotective. Neuroprotective, it helps the brain protect itself against conditions like Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, any type of brain neurodegenerative diseases. Rhodia, rhodia rosea is phenomenal to take. Now, how much do you take? Okay, so how much rhodiola do you want, do you need to take? Because the dosage varies anywhere from 50 milligrams to 680 milligrams daily. Now, I always instruct my patients, you know, start slow. Do not start with a mega dose, okay? Because you will have side effects. So, but there's different, again, there's different, if there's different goals. If you want to improve your memory, you want to start off with 100 milligrams on an empty stomach. Start off first thing in the morning, have it by your bedside, and an empty stomach, 100 milligrams. Now, again, if, you, if you're looking to fight off depression and anxiety, you wanna start off a little bit higher. So you wanna start off at 400 milligrams daily, again, on an empty stomach, okay? And the goal is you're not gonna be on it forever. I always recommend to cycle it on. You wanna do 10 weeks on, see how you feel, and then do about five weeks off, just so it doesn't build up in your system. So you want to cycle rhodiola for about 10 weeks on, five weeks off. And again, you're not going to feel the effects immediately because it's going to take about 30 days to build up into your system. So do it cautiously. So again, rhodiola is good for mood, energy, focus, stamina, depression. It's a mood elevator. Pair it up. I always recommend pairing up with ashwagandha because that's going to help relieve stress as well. 
So, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Hello, this is Dr. Juwad. Please subscribe to my channel for more up-to-date videos. And thanks for watching.